Every major city in the world has many different things that serve different purposes. A lamp shines a light, a traffic light will tell you when to stop and when to go. But there are many things in a city that are completely useless. And we will show you some of those things that are here in the city of Prague. First tiny example, this lamp post has this weird metal construction on it that used to serve for advertisement. Advertisement is long gone, but the holder for the advertisement is still there. And there's many more, much cooler things than these. Prague has many beautiful parks. They're big and some of them are very small, even in the very city center, where we are right now, next to this park. That is unfortunately useless because it's locked and it's ruined. Ironically, it's uh, not owned, but it's run by a developer that decided not to develop it, but to let it ruin. The idea for a video that shows useless things came to us because we already made a video about useless traffic signs in our city. And just recently we were walking through this passageway that is obviously for pedestrians only, but there is a sign that prohibits cars from entering. Would somebody really try to enter here with a car? So we need to put up a sign? Doesn't make any sense. If you haven't seen the useless signs episode, check it out on our channel. It's quite funny. Or at least I think it's funny. <laughs> We are on the Old Town Square and there's many useless things in my opinion, but there is one that is actually useless. And it's sort of a museum of tourism kind of thing. And that's this metal anchor in the middle of the square. There's many of them. And they are here after uh, they removed the restaurant patios. This square used to be one giant restaurant in a way. Well, the restaurants are gone and now there's these uh, metal pieces still mounted in the ground for many, many years now. So when you walk around and you stumble on it, you know what's the reason. Oh. The city center of Prague is a pedestrian zone, meaning no cars are allowed. So usually there's a traffic sign, but many people ignore the traffic sign. So the city puts up these uh, poles that can elevate and they only go down for certain vehicles to let them in. Well, I've been walking this street for the past 15 years. This thing was never up, so it's useless. Since the Old Town Square in Prague is one of the most beautiful squares in the world to look at, it's pretty cool that there's these benches so you can look at the square. But I would say this one is pretty useless. What do you think? Yep, that was not the only bench with a view. This one is also kind of useless to use for the view. But what is not useless is the service of our sponsor, and that is Surfshark VPN. I'm pretty sure by now you know what a VPN Surfshark is. Uh, what they do is they hide your IP address or uh, they give you a different one from any country of your desire. That is good, especially if you want to watch content that otherwise would be restricted in your country or maybe you in, even live in a country where some websites are restricted. In that case, you simply connect to a country where you can connect to that content or to that website. They have a perfect 24-7 support that I've used uh, many times or tested and they reply almost immediately. And if you use our code HONESTGUIDE, you'll get three months for free and 83% off. And you can use the service on all of your devices. It is unlimited. So enjoy it and we're going to enjoy and find more useless places here in Prague. The next thing we want to show you isn't really useless, but it doesn't serve its original purpose. And that's this well. Now it's only beautiful, but it doesn't give you any water, even though some people still try. So you can try to pump it, but no water is going to come out. I've actually just recently saw two guys that were inside and I asked them, hey, what you guys up to? And they said, well, we're fixing it. And once we're done, the water will run. I came here the next day to try it. I've been pumping it for 20 minutes and all the waiters and waitresses around the square were just laughing at me saying, nope, it wasn't working for 20 years and it's not going to work for 20 more. Another useless thing we want to show you is this public toilet here on the most expensive street in Prague. It's for five crowns. Unfortunately, I only have a 50, so I'm gonna uh, change it somewhere. Bulgari, Fendi, yeah, Rolex will do it. 
We got our five crowns, so let's, oh, it's occupied. Maximum use 15 minutes. So I guess we'll wait 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. 15 minutes later, still occupied. I guess that means that this is out of order. So it's useless, but maybe not really because it still is some sort of a holder for an advertisement. What kind of advertisement? A logo of the city of Prague. So it's only half useless and pretty ugly too. We are in front of the Prague City Hall and there's another completely useless thing. Not the City Hall, but a QR code they placed in front of it. It is unable to read with any app, any device whatsoever. But I remember back in the days, I was actually able to load it to see what's on the website. And I got to a city website that was hacked. So it is useless. As we've already mentioned, our city has many pedestrians. So the city wants to slow down the cars and they usually do it by using these speed bumps. So they put them in the streets so cars won't go fast. Well, these speed bumps are in a place where I don't think a car can make it through. Uh, that would have to be a really tiny, small car. Even Honza can't walk through there. And also on top of that, this street is no entry street for a car. So legally you cannot drive a car in here. Yet the city put up these speed bumps that in my opinion are completely useless. I really want to meet the person who was walking here. It was like, man, this is the perfect place for speed bumps, you know? Another completely useless thing is graffiti in the city, mostly in the city center on historical sites done by tourists. I'm talking about this piece right here, BR, that has been here for more than a year, completely useless. But not only that, the city has an app where citizens of Prague can take a picture of graffiti, report it to the city, the city will come and clean it. Well, I've reported this four, five months ago and nobody showed up to clean it. So the app is nice from the marketing point of view, but it is completely useless. And I'm not talking about some dodgy tunnel on the suburbs of Prague. This is like number one rated tourist attraction in Czech Republic. So just clean this graffiti. Another useless thing from my point of view are these ATMs. They are literally everywhere in Prague, on every single corner. Why are they useless, you ask? Well, because when you come to Prague, you do not need cash. All the businesses in the city actually accept a card, a credit card. You can just tap or swipe or anything and it will take the money from your card. You don't need to put it in this machine. That therefore is useless. Well, let me rephrase that. It is useless for all of us, for people living here and for the visitors of our city. It is not useless for the people who run this because every transaction that is made in this machine can cost up to 20% in fees to the person who's using it. Uh-oh. And I have saved the best for the last. This is the most useless thing there is on this square. What is it, you may ask? Well, it is something left over from a stand that used to sell trdelniks to tourists. The stand wasn't really supposed to be here, so the city got rid of the stand, but they left this. I don't know if it is electricity, if it's water, if it's gas, and it's not like it's been here for a day or a week. It's been here for more than half a year. And I think it's alive. But you know what? It is completely useless and most likely it will be here for many more years to come. I bet you that you have something that is also useless in your town or in your city. So take a picture of it and tag us on Instagram, Real Honest Guide, I'm curious to see it because unfortunately we just couldn't find any more things that are useless in our city. You think this is useless? It's not, I can lean on it while I'm waiting for my tram to arrive. 
That's it, we were the honest guides here from Prague, Honza and Yannick. We do videos about traveling, about our city, where to go, what to see. You can see them on our channel. Sometimes we come across a scam, we also film those. And we'll be super happy if you uh, give us a subscribe or if you write a comment, if you like our content. And I will see you next Sunday here on The Honest Guide. And uh, in the end, as always, I'm gonna teach you a Czech sentence. This time, how to say, what's it for? What is it for? And in Czech, we say, k čemu to je? What is it for? K čemu to je? So if you're strolling through Prague and you see one of the things you saw today and you see a local, you can be like, k čemu to je? They will not know, because we don't know either. <laughs>